Hi, welcome guys, and today I'm gonna show you how to clean install NVIDIA drivers. Let's get it. Okay, right now we are here in NVIDIA's website, and you can see right here is where you typically go to download the G4 experience. This is the more typical way, the more convenient or easy way to uh, install uh, drivers of NVIDIA. We all use this in the past or currently. And the bad thing about this, the only downside about this method is that install a lot of SUG process and bloatware in your computer that it's not like a really heavy thing that is going to slow down your computer a lot but it's going to it's going to slow down a little bit your computer if you don't have like the full potential of all your components inside your computer and i know for us 3d artists or for people that do some type of creative creating work in their PCs this is like a really bad thing because we want all the extra use that we need the we, we need to have to do our work because if you are working like in a really heavy scene of 3D or you are working in a video editing of 4K or 8K video or Photoshop of 4K or 8K of image and then your program crash or freeze maybe Maybe, you don't know, it's because of NVIDIA Bloodware and all the suit process they have. Right now, we can see that in my computer. This is a program that I see to, to see all the suit process or process in my computer. It's TCP view. Right now, I'm going to search for MB. And you see, I have a lot of suit process. Maybe I have more, but because in uh, before I do this, I reinstall everything with NVIDIA GeForce to... Uh, you can see uh, how many we have maybe in the past I have a, a lot more but because recently that I uninstall and reinstall my driver maybe it's that because I have only like uh, I think 11 process running maybe you have more maybe you have 16 maybe you have 15 processing uh, running in your background and this uh, is slowing down a little bit your computer but with this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install clean uh, the NVIDIA drivers and how you have like a little bit more, more juice for your computer okay let's get it okay for the beginning of the tutorial we are going to do the first two steps the first one is download two applications the first application is the uh, display driver uninstall is in the guru3d.com and this is the one application we're going to use to clean install or uh, one to uninstall the current NVIDIA drivers we have. And the second application is the NVIDIA clean install. This is the one we're going to use forward to install all our NVIDIA drivers. And the second step is to start our computer in secure mode. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you how to enter the safe mode of Windows. First, you're going to go to your Windows key and you're going to go to Restart. You're going to press Restart plus Shift. And that is going to bring you, when you restart your computer, to the show, Shows and Auctions. Then you go to Troubleshoot. Then you go to Advance. And then you go to See More Auctions. Hello, guys. i doing this intermission and i stop stopping the video right here because... When I was doing the tutorial, I don't notice that I have the startup settings in front of me. Uh, sometimes this happens, maybe it's in the advanced auctions only, and you don't need to go to see more auctions. If you see it in the advanced auctions, that is the auction that you need to press, and then that will bring you the startup settings. Uh, that's it, continue with the video. And see more auctions, you need to press the startup settings. In the startup settings, you are, you are going to see different options. You need to press F4. Uh, this one is going to start your computer in safe mode. Now, let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, guys, now we are here in safe mode of Windows. You can see my screen is a little cropped down and my I don't have my camera. But that is okay. Uh, 
we only need to extract this file I'm going to extract it here and then we have these two things and then the second thing we need to extract it too uh, it's secure here and then we need to open this file this is the program to uninstall the drivers and then right click and open as an administration and then we a sec and then we need to go to auctions on Wikipedia and check everything because we don't want any drivers and then we need to go to close that then we select our device GPU you can see you can uh, put MD and Intel if you want but for this tutorial we are doing NVIDIA and then we need to press in the clean and restart button this is the correct way and that's it okay guys right now we are here in our windows without any NVIDIA drivers and we need to go to our file and we need to press the program NVIDIA clean install and we need to right click it and then uh, uh, open it up as an administration put yes and this is the program you can see right now uh, right now here is current drivers uh, NOM and the first option this is the best drivers for your hardware right now this is like the latest of greatest of NVIDIA and then the second option you can manually select a driver like uh, the past driver like the 472 of NVIDIA or the new one you can select it right here or you can use a driver you found in the internet like an old old version that you want to try because it's better for your machine or for what you what you do but for in my case I'm going to press the first hi guys it's me Fabrizio K um, I interrupted the video because I forgot to tell you two important things in the video. The first one is the little checkbox in the bottom. That is for automatically the program check for all the updates. And the second thing is that if you want uh, a specific driver like the studio ready or the game ready drivers for NVIDIA, uh, you can do that here too. Uh, it's, it's not complicated because uh, it, Essentially the two drivers are the same. There are no difference The only difference is like the driver for the studio ready is like have the certification for NVIDIA It is going to work well in the professional programs in the game ready don't have that certification and If you want like the studios ready drivers for that you can go to select uh, a version of the driver like with the second option you can try to see if uh, the same the same as the, the same version of the driver is in there or you can go directly to Nvidia download the version and use it their auction to do a clean install and you can use the studio studio ready driver if you don't care about that you can use the first auction and that's it and this is the only thing that I want to uh, complete uh, with this video and we can continue enjoying the video Thanks. Option. Then I go to press next, and then I, right here, this is all the driver options. And you can see there are a lot. But the good thing about this program, this tells you what it does each one of these. You can go and read all of them, or you can go to these three options in the in the bottom. You can see the minimum is only the display drivers. The recommended are the display drivers, the physics and the HD audio. And I like to put recommended and then select two options more because yeah, these options are really important for some people and some application. Like the uh, we need the Microsoft Visual C. This program is used for a lot of applications and games. <coughs> And I usually select it. And then this one here, the USB C driver. If your graphic card have a C drive, you need this because this is for the if you have like a VR headset, this is really important. And we are going to click it. And then we are going to press next. And right now is download the files we need to install it. And when this is finished, uh, we are going to come back. And now we are come back. You can see we have uh, more options right here. This is uh, if you want like to do a clean install directly for this program, you can. But it's no. 
you can try it. I never try it. I usually do the uh, the other step that is more clean and have menos problems. Maybe this auction is going to cause some problems. I don't know. Um, really, uh, you can search if that is the case. You want to use this instead of the other method. Yeah, you can do it. It's viable. But usually, I don't uh, press any of these ones. Maybe only the telemetry and advertisement. But we already don't choose that in the beginning but it's uh, just in case and then we are going to press next and then we're going to press install this is going to come out the uh, nvidia controller graphics and I, I, I press a sec and continue and then i want to see what i uh, install in our computer and you can see it's only three options that's it before this, uh, when we installed uh, the media drivers, we have a lot more options, but because this is a clean install, this is all we have. I'm going to go back and express install, next, and it's already started. And when this is finished, we are going to finish the tutorial, and I have uh, some final thoughts to give you guys. Okay guys, now we are here again in my desktop. You can see my drivers are installed because everything looks good again. And I have the TC Viewer open and the administration and the Tax Manager of Windows open too, because I want to see how many NVIDIA processes I have currently in my computer running to demonstrate you the tutorial works. Uh, in the beginning, we we start with eleven processes. Now we go to see how many we have left. I'm gonna start with uh, and with TC Viewer typing NB and don't appear anything maybe it's with another name i gonna st i gonna put m only maybe it appear like that uh windows control server uh, i don't see anything right now maybe huh it's like it's like Nvidia is gone from my computer, but we have the process and we have the drivers. That's why I have opened this. If you don't believe in this, you can go and ditch it out, and you can this this one. This is the typical way to see your process in your computer, and we are going to share for Nvidia. I find I found one, and we can see I don't have more. I find two and one sub process running in the background. And then it's with continue going down. I don't see anymore. And you can see uh, the tutorial is working. I only have two process of NVIDIA running in the background, and this is great. Remember, in the beginning we have 11, now we have two, and now we have more power to use in our computer. And that's it for me, guys. I hope this tutorial helped you. I hope you find this tutorial entertaining and educative. educative educative and I hope it helped you and see you in the next time.